Uh, President, uh, Commissioner, you know, Mr. Draghi, I'm always uh, impressed by your totally non-compromising uh, support of the euro, doomed, of course, though we all now know it to be. You're talking about things which aren't the problem. The problem that we have is a flawed banking system, a fractional reserve banking system, where bankers can lend money that they don't have. And if you go back in time to the United States in the 1850s, that was a capital offence. You could hang for that. What we've actually had here is criminal activity by bankers, and not a single banker has been sent to prison. This is extraordinary. Billions of pounds have been um, taken away from taxpayers, taken away from depositors, bondholders, and yet not a single banker is in jail. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. We really have to use the law of the land, not so much regulation, and printing money. And central banks are equally culpable, make no mistake. I'd like to see some central bankers in prison. Let's all blame the retail banks. But it's the central banks where the cancer starts. Politicians, bankers and lackey bureaucrats should be arraigned at an international financial tribunal in The Hague in the same way as war criminals. Oh, well, Mr. President, uh, I'm uh, minded actually to quote the great American philosopher Murray Rothbard here that the state, the state is an institution of theft writ large. Tax is just about a system where politicians and bureaucrats steal money from their citizens to squander in the most disgraceful manner. This place is no exception. Fascinatingly, and I really don't know how you manage to keep a straight face when you're talking about tax evasion, the whole commission and the commission bureaucracy avoid their taxes. You don't pay taxes like citizen pay taxes. You have all sorts of special deals. Composite tax rates, uh, high tax thresholds, non-contributory pension schemes. You are the biggest tax avoiders in Europe and here you sit pontificating. Well, the message is getting home to the people of the European Union. You're going to find that Eurosceptics are coming back in June in ever greater numbers. In ever greater numbers. And I can tell you worse, as the people get your number, it won't be long before they storm this chamber and they hang you and they'll be right.